All right then gang, so in this video, I'd like to show you how to consume two different contexts inside a single component. So I've shown you so far two separate ways to consume a context. I've shown you this way where we say static context type is equal to whatever context that we wanna use, or we say consumer like this and then get the context object in this function. So if we want to use two separate contexts, inside a component, how do we go about that? Because now we have two contexts. We have the theme one and the auth one. So if I wanted to do it inside here, for example, I couldn't just say static context type is equal to auth context. That's not gonna work because then we have two static properties with the same name and it's just not gonna work that. So we have two options here. What we could do is we could use one context this way using the context type property. And then the other one is gonna use the consumer tag down here, or we can just use two consumer tags. So we can nest one inside the other. And that's the way I'm gonna show you in this video. So what I'm gonna do is surround all of this right here with the auth context consumer. So to do that, I'm just gonna go up here and say auth context and press enter. That's gonna automatically import it for me. Then we want to use dot consumer like so. And then I'm gonna place this right at the end down here. Now remember, this expects a function to go inside of it and that function is gonna return some JSX. So this function is also gonna take in a context object. I'm gonna call this auth context. I'm not calling it context because we already have that down here. And in fact, I'm going to call this one theme context. So we know which each one is. So anyway, inside this top function, all we're going to do is return some JSX. So I don't need to open up a function. I'm just going to return the JSX inside these parentheses. So the JSX we want to return is all of this stuff right here. So let me paste that in like so, and just scoop this back up here. So now we have access to two different contexts inside this component, the auth one and the theme one. Now I'm just gonna change this to theme context because we renamed that variable. And now also I'm gonna do a similar thing to destructure some information from auth context, because remember we had this stuff right here, is authenticated and also toggle auth. We passed both of those into the value property. So let me now do a bit of destructuring next to these ones to grab those. I'll say const and we want is authenticated and we also want toggle auth. I think that's what it was called. Let me just double check. Yeah, toggle auth and toggle auth. So now we have access to both of those things. I'll set it equal to auth context to grab the properties from there. And now down here, we could do something with these things. So for now, underneath the H1, I'm gonna do a div, and inside, I'm gonna output whether the user is logged in or logged out. Now to do that, I need to evaluate this, which is a Boolean, it's either true or false. So I'll use a ternary operator, and to do that, we'll say is authenticated, which is gonna be evaluated to true or false. If it's true, we'll say logged in, and if it's false, we'll say logged out. Okay, so now if I save this and come over here, then we should see we are logged out. But if I inspect and then go to React, what I'm gonna do is come down here to the consumer and go up. And in fact, we need to go to the provider, not the consumer, and change the value to true. So now we can see I'm logged in. And as we toggle this, it's logging me in and out. Well, it's not actually logging me in or out, but it's changing what we display right here. And everything else still works as well. So the theme context is still working in this nav bar as well. So that's nice. We've now consumed two different contexts in one single component. Now I wanna do one more thing, and that is to use this toggle auth function when we click on this div. So whenever we click over here on this thing, I'd like it to toggle the authentication status. So I'll say on click, oops, on click and set that equal to a function which is called toggle auth. And then I just need to save this and go over here. And let's see if we click it now, you can see it toggles the authentication status. 
So there we go, my friends. That's how you consume two contexts in one single component. Now, all of this was fine, but it actually becomes much easier to do all of this when we use the context API in combination with React hooks. And it means that we won't have to do all of this consumer stuff right here. So for the next few videos, I'm going to be talking about React hooks and how they work. Then eventually we'll be coming around full circle to use hooks with the context API, which is going to make working with all of this kind of stuff so much easier.